my friends, for today's video, I will show you how to do a bomb ass makeup for your passport picture or your driver license picture. As you guys saw in the title, I will be just making a little makeup tutorial. Last night, I was chilling because I got my period. So I was just trying to distract myself. I was suffering from cramps, okay? I was going through TikTok and I saw this girl that she did like makeup for her passport or ID, something like that. But I basically remember that my ID picture is actually disgusting. Like it's so ugly. I literally look like a crackhead. Let me just show you. Just look at this. Tell me I don't look like a crackhead. And even though I'm not getting a new driver license, I wish, but I'm not. Hopefully next time I need to renew my driver license, I could go presentable. Because I didn't know at the time that I will be taking the picture just there, like right in the spot. And if I knew, I would probably, I don't know, had something going on. So yeah, guys, basically that's what I'm going to do. Also, I just wanted to mention that I'm not a makeup artist or anything like that. So don't expect me to know everything and anything because I don't. I would just do whatever I do in my everyday makeup. But this time I will be adding a little bit more because I'm not going to hold back. I'm going out loud. I will be starting with my eyebrows and I don't have... <laughs> I don't have the Anastasia gel pomade thing so it could like make your eyebrows, you know? So I will be using this, like, <laughs> this is what I have, so hopefully this works. I have like a year with this thing, um, this is the first time I, I used it for my hair and now for my eyebrows. Wait, is this even? Yeah, it's gel. Hopefully it works and it keeps my eyebrows in place because basically I'm going to be like lifting my eyebrows all the way to the top like don't worry if they look a little bit crazy right now we're going to fix it just keep doing that you can even see how this side of my face is already like lifted it looks like more you know awake and this one's more like eh. i'm gonna do the same thing to the other side i think this is my favorite eyebrow i don't know wait is it yeah i think this is my favorite eyebrow it's probably because i'm missing the tail of this eyebrow and this one even though i don't have a tail either but wait no they look the same i'm gonna let it dry a little bit because i don't feel like this thing is getting hard and you're supposed to be doing that i will apply a little bit more but this time just to give shape to my eyebrow what do you think nice or no nice I just found this clear, um, transparent mascara from Maybelline New York and I also added this to my eyebrows so hopefully this helps because I don't feel like the gel is doing nothing right now like I literally don't feel nothing until I added this now I'm starting to feel like a little bit dry slash pulling into my face hopefully that works because if not, I don't know what I'm gonna do but I'm just gonna continue I'll be using this primer serum Supposedly, this is going to hydrate my skin. It smells good. Let me see. Mm. Feels kind of sticky. And also, I will be using this ultra hydrating moisturizing face primer, and it supposedly has coconut. I like this one. It doesn't really smell like nothing, but I like how it feels on my face. Mm. It's now time to start with the eyebrows, the actual like coloring. This is what I'm going to be using first. It's basically like a mascara and it has like a vo volumizer and it's from Maybelline New York. No lie, I've been using this for the past two, three years, so yeah. using this which is the Cristal Cosmetics eyebrow uh, pomade well it's not really a pomade it has like a sponge in there and it has two different tones as you can see a little bit lighter and something darker we'll be starting with the darker side They look nice. I think they look nice. What do you guys think? This is actually the first time um, in the longest that I do my eyebrows. Like I dedicate time to my eyebrows because I literally just like put some of this 
and I'm set to go. But no, this time I went a little bit a lot. Like I mentioned, I'm trying to do this a little bit extra. So now, let me see what else next. No. I will be using this and the only reason I'm using this is because as you can tell it's really light and I'm trying to bright up my eyes I have never used this so I don't know if it's full coverage let me just see oh yeah it is full coverage so I think that's perfect and I will be using my new Crystal Cosmetics brush and it's this one right here it's flat as you can see and this is the number E4. We'll be giving a little bit more of shape or cleaning up my eyebrows. But just from the bottom, not the top. I'm not going to be touching the top. Just the bottom, guys. And I'm going to do this so carefully because I don't want to mess it up. Just like this. We'll be adding this to all of my eyelid. And also here. Make sure you add it here. I know this looks crazy, but bear with me, be patient. I will also add this here in the bottom because I really want to bright up my eyes. Now that I apply all of that, I will be using this huge beauty blender and it's also from Pistal Cosmetics. So remember, I have a discount code for you guys, it's Gabby. And yeah, I will be blending this. But this part right now, we are done with that for now. And this is the foundation I will be using. This is how the foundation looks. I love this foundation, guys. This is my favorite one because even though I said I was gonna go out loud, I still don't wanna look too cakey. And this foundation is just perfect because it covers, but um, it doesn't feel like I'm suffocating or like my skin can't breathe. As you can see, it looks so cute. And I know at the beginning you were like, what the fuck, girl? Like, that's too white. It fades, it fades away. Now we will continue with the contouring. And once again, here we have Crystal Cosmetics. So we have the new collection of brushes. These brushes are so beautiful, I love them. And I finally have my hands on this. I will be using this one right here. Also, I just wanted to mention that I will be starting with this small, kind of small brush to contour. And then with the fluffier one, I'll be like, um, blending and here's where i will be adding my contour here here i will be adding it here and dragging it to the top i know it sounds kind of crazy but that works also let me just clean my lips and now I will be like pressing my brush like this and mm -hmm. now my nose. Just like this, now I will be changing my brush to this one which is more fluffier and I will be blending everything. Now I'm just gonna brighten up a little bit more my forehead, just here, also here, here, and here. get it just a little bit of brown here and we are gonna pull our eye to the side like this just like that same to the other side it's time for the blush and currently I do not own any plushes I don't know why so I will be using this palette which is from itsy lashes and these two eyeshadows it's what I'm gonna use as my blush I know it sounds crazy, but it's gonna look cute. And now I will be baking with my uh, Laura Mercy translucent powder. My eye 
guys will be using this which is from maven beauty and once again we have cristal cosmetics um brush and i'll be using this one i love this brush it's just perfect now for this i grab a little bit of water i don't know if you can see it right there and i just basically dip my brush in it and i use this eyeshadow right here which is kind of like a brown and i mix it with this one which is a brown as well but it looks darker and now i create my wing something like this and I'll be doing the same but in my inner eye excuse the lighting but uh, my little ring light or square little light just died and I'm charging it in the back I am done with the wing and as you can see it looks so nice I love it I'll be curling my lashes and also I will be adding some mascara show you guys how it's looking i think it looks so good now i will be adding some lashes and i'll be using this ones right here i don't know what they're called i Lurie london something um but as you can see um one is missing because i'm just gonna be using one and yeah guys this is what i do every single time i i wear lashes i don't wear full lashes because i just don't like them and i feel my eyes so heavy and they get so watery so i found a solution for it and i basically just grab one lash and i cut it in half this is one full lash but i basically flip it like this and this is how i wear them <gasps> don't mind my glue it looks disgusting but this is the glue i will be using just look at this my lashes be looking cute and yeah that's what i do for my lashes now let's continue with the lips so we could get this done oh and also i will be using this little highlight here it's so cute and this one's from colourpop it was from a collection i think it was tinkerbell if i'm not mistaken Just look at this highlight. Oh, so beautiful. This is what I'm going to be using for my lips. And I will be starting with this one. This is in the number 65. Once it's dried up, I will be adding the next one. And I just put like a little bit here. And I will use a brush like this one. And I will overline my lips. But that's not it. I will continue overlining. We're we'll using this palette right here, which is the same brand as my um, foundation. And this is the eyeshadow I'll be using. Now we get like a piece of clothing or whatever you have. I have a sock right here. So I'm just going to get a little bit of concealer and I will add it in my lips. Oh, God. Come on. This is the final result. I love it. What do you guys think? Let me just give you a little close up. I hope this video helps you or you got some inspo or ideas or just get ready because you don't have to use this specifically for your ID or passport. But um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I think I'm gonna go and take some pictures though.